M0FXB, welcome to my channel, Zygu X6100. Now I've got this one here that has had, this isn't from me, it had these side handles fitted, and they actually work well, but they've been fitted upside down for one. But I have noticed something, and I thought I'd, uh, the information may be useful. If you look here on this left side, if you look at the, the sort of legs, watch the leg click into place like this. It sort of clicks into place. See that? Now the reason it does that, like zooming clearer, is because there's a ball bearing underneath that sort of helps it do that, okay? Now on the other side, and I do highly recommend these, at the, especially at the price that these sell for, um, and what they do, you know, HF six meters, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, built-in ATU, built-in SWR meter, built-in CW decoder. I mean, it's just all there, so I highly recommend it. Anyway, on this side, look. Okay, and the reason that happens is because the ball bearing, wherever it's placed, has fallen out. Okay, now, I noticed there's an Allen key there. But anyway, the other thing I was going to do while I'm here is these side handles seem to be upside down because if you look here there's a handle hole there um, but look the radio is upside down <laughs> so they've been, they've been fitted upside down so I'm going to have to see if I can take them off and um, swap them around if I can't I can't I've, I, have, I have actually ordered some of the you know the metal ones that you get from AliExpress they're about 30, 28 pound so if I have to I'll fit them I do quite like these plastic ones um, so anyway, we'll see about the ball bearing and where that actually goes. So I've watched a video by Temporarily Offline and he, his ball bearing fell out. And I did ask Steve, why is the ball bearing there? And it was him that told me about the, the sort of clicky thing. I'm just trying to think where the ball bearing goes. It must be underneath that there. So I need an, an Allen key. We'll go and find an Allen key. Okay, so anyway, first things first is let's... Take the side thing off, I see if the whole lot might just come off anyway. Might not need to take that Allen key off. So we'll just, it's one, two, three, four, is it five screws? I'll undo them, one screw is missing. The screws are quite short, I've got some spare ones coming with my uh, new handles. Yeah, as I thought, we take the one, two, three, four, five screws off, and then it just comes away, no problem at all there. Quite easily, I'll show you what's behind as well. So the handles, I'm trying to think, see how they've been put on. Got a big screw there, so the ball bearing, where would that go? Uh, does it go, I'll undo that. Allen key, I'm going to have a look at the the ball bearing. So when it was on, it was here. I'm guessing the ball bearing has to go between the gap here between the Allen key and the uh, and this part here. Okay, I'll just show you these plastic handles. They look like they're you know printed ones. They do the job quite well. It's just if when they're upside down, so that's the right way round there. The radio sits nicely when it's that way round. But when they're upside down, the radio keeps falling over. I can see how, yeah, it does have this little corner to lean backwards. But anyway, I'm gonna swap it like so. Okay, I've got an Allen key, so that's fine. Do that. I just wanted to show you the size so you can see what you can see. So, we've got the mic connector, ACC uh, key for the paddle. Now, apparently, be very careful not to plug in your 3.5 jack into this because it can pull it off the board. Speaker, which works excellent. I highly recommend you put a speaker in this. Uh, an add an external speaker because the 
it transforms how the radio feels. It, it gives you the same audio quality that you would expect from a, a Yaesu or an Icom radio. Uh, it really does. Obviously, use a decent speaker. I'm using, I'm using an Icom one, but I've noticed that even the budget ones are quite good. And then you've got the SD card slot here for firmware, and then you've got the DEV USB, which tends to be the one that you use for things like FT8, things like that. And then you've got the host, which is the one that you would use for uh, plugging an external keyboard or mouse and things like that. You can see the battery there. So uh, there's a few teardown videos of this anyway. See where the battery connects. There's two connectors there, so that I can see inside. Okay, um, so the next thing is take this stand off and just have a look to see where the ball bearing would go. Shouldn't be tight. Yeah, so there's two holes. So let me think now. Is one a screw hole? So I don't know, but I'm guessing that the tiny little ball bearing goes there, basically. Goes here, and then you get that effect. Which I suppose, if, technically, you could replace without having to yeah look you've got two little indentations there where the ball bearing will latch it's quite a small ball bearing isn't it right let's take the other side off i'm going to put that back on get it the right way around okay that way around isn't it because it's all got like a ridge here don't really need that off and there's no way we're going to find that ball bearing it wasn't me that lost it by the way but it's not essential the main thing i would say is if you ever do take it off and that is don't drop it inside the radio so to see if the handle fits we're going to have to take the other side off See if it even fits. It should fit. And uh, but we're not going to take off the the ball bearing part. We're just going to do the the screen. I think you don't have to take the one off that's covering the Wi-Fi connector. I've noticed we've got this BNC connector, so I'm just wondering if that's got to be taken off. So yeah. A bit worried about taking that off now, but let's just, we'll go easy and we'll see how it feels when it's coming off because I'll have to have a look. Okay, so let's uh, just get these screws off here. Again, it's one, two, oh, I don't think that one comes off, but we'll see, it might have to. Three, four, let's try it. Okay, got in the end. One, two, three, four, five screws off, and it's on there solid. So the next thing is the the BNC connector. Okay, and as I'm loosening it, it's uh, the sides coming loose, so that's good. So removing the that connector is going to. Uh, do the trick. There's a washer there as well. Like so, I did notice it felt like it was bent. The connect, the BNC did feel like it was bent one way, but anyway. So let's have a look what we can actually see. Yeah, I can see there is some play there. I want to get focus on this camera. So what can we see? DC input. That looks like the tuner in the background. At the bottom there are all those little white blocks. 
Yeah, just yeah, just plastic molding. Battery. So is it two batteries? I'm guessing in inside. And uh, so anyway, the thing we want to know is for my to get this handle on the right way round is can we just prise this one out and just swap it with the other side? And the other thing I've worked out is I think I am going to have to remove the foot um, for the ball bearing. But what I might, if there's two in there, I might better put one ball bearing on the other side and just have one latch position. We'll see. So, uh, well, let's uh, let's take it out of here, out, out of this housing first, which I think is just a matter of just pushing on the inside there. Look, which it was. That's the moulded. To me, 3D, you know, 3D printer handle. There's your thing. Now this one, well, this one also feels floppy. So, oh yeah, I see a ball bearing there. So it looks like there's only one ball bearing. So I need a spare one of them, really. So it looks like when you remove the side piece that you uh, the ball bearing does fall out. That's fiddly, isn't it? So where would that, what would hold that in? I don't know if I'm even going to leave it in because I'm worried about it falling inside the radio. And let's just do this to make sure, shaky, shaky, that it um, doesn't fall off. Right. And when I did that, look, the front starts to come away. So remember that. I didn't realise it would do that. So right now, if we wanted to, we could take the, the front does pull away. I'm not going to do that, of course. And uh, make sure I haven't done anything naughty. Let's turn it on just for fun. There you go, working fine. Uh, it needs an antenna, of course. Right, back to swapping the side handles. Yeah, so what I've realised is that the reason they fitted the handles upside down is because it hasn't got the side piece cut out here, which you can effectively cut out on this side um, to let the, the legs, sort of the legs, hang down, so I get it. So I think what I might do is just put the original sides, put the original sides back on and then wait for my new metal handles to come. So there's your original sides. Quite thin really. Would have been better if they were made from like a, a rubber. Okay, now which way round do these go? Oh, yeah, I'm pretty sure the front is like that, isn't it? Let's try them. Like so. Looks to me like it goes like that. Then your plate goes like so. And that's back to original. Oh, front is coming away. Just show you that coming away, actually. The front did come away there. Look. So, all the connectors at that end, but let's put that back where it belongs. Okay, let's get some screws in. Make sure we line up all the, all the ports, ETC. Right, well, put one side. I'm going to put the other side in now before I put all, put all the screws in because I don't want the front to keep opening. I'm just going to slide that over like so, and then get the plate on and the the BNC. There's the plate. So you've got the, I'm not really sure how it works with the legs, but I don't know, that's fine. Like so, and then once you get the washer on, you're good to go. 
just don't really want the thing falling apart. So really that's about it really. I'll just I'll put the you know I need to put the rest of the screws in but the radio is back to original now. And um like so once I get the screws in the ball bearing, which I have still got here, which I'm sure I'm going to lose. As far as I can see, if I just, well, I will try and do it before I finish the video. It's trying to get good focus. I'm guessing the ball bearing will go here. And then you bolt the leg on there. Let's try that, whether it goes underneath. So it might, it may go underneath. Be quiet, you'll be alright. 